guys, my name is Carissa. This is the Fat Girl Flow channel, and today we are going to be doing a haul of the things that I've got this last week. Pretty simple, pretty easy, not sponsored. I just, you know, got some stuff from Forever 21. I got a few swimsuits in the mail from the new JCPenney Boutique Plus line. I thought I would show it all to you guys, so that's what we're gonna do. Just to start, I would like to say thank you for the support and love on the last video talking about how I am no longer longer married. You guys have been unbelievable. The amount of support and love that I've got has far outweighed the nasty messages that I've got. I feel very, very lucky that the people who are joining me in this whole YouTube thing are kind and loving and, you know, want to see the best for me. And I appreciate you guys a lot and thank you. That being said, I'm likely not going to talk about that stuff for quite some time, but you guys will probably start seeing my partner Jay in videos. Now, I don't want you guys to feel like you're like missing something. I don't want you guys to feel like, like I skipped over an important part of the story or anything. Um, it's just that, you know, there's a time and place for sharing and the internet and YouTube is not that time or place with my dissolution of marriage. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about fucking clothes. I'm gonna talk about everything that I got from Forever 21 first. The first thing being this dress. I saw this dress on the website and I was immediately obsessed with it. It says that it comes in a, I think like XL 1X, or a 2X, and so I ordered the 2X, like hoping and praying that it would fit, and it does. It maybe doesn't fit as like flowing or loose as I wanted it to, but definitely like the boob portion is big enough for my boobs. I imagine I'm going to wear this dress a hundred times this summer. It is so easy to put on. I literally don't have to wear underwear with it, which is my favorite kind of clothing. So I see myself buying this dress in every color that they still have left and wearing all of them over and over and over and over again. Also, this dress makes me feel like a witch. It makes me feel like a gothy babe who is carrying around crystals and wants to do spells. And I love that. I like that. I'm into that. When I started my blog, I wrote a mildly rude review of Forever 21 and how they treat their plus size customers both in store and online. I'll link that article below. It went viral and it got a lot of traffic and I honestly like Forever 21 contacted me after that asking what they could do to improve. They said that they are like really working on their plus size line. There was a lot of um, communication in the plus size community toward Forever 21 after that. After that, they started their plus size Instagram where they celebrated more plus size people on their Instagram and I feel like Forever 21 plus size has come a very long way. They're not offering anything over a 3x. Uh, it's not like they're like revolutionizing plus size shit or anything. But I gotta admit when I saw what I had ordered and I started going through it I was like really really impressed. There has been a marked change in Forever 21 recently. They are getting more expensive. That's one of those changes. But I opened this little white crop top. I actually ordered a white crop top and a white um, like tank top crop top because it's spring and I'm gonna live in crop tops. But like even their tagging system is like nicer now for plus sizes. The materials just feel like, this doesn't feel like a Forever 21 material. It feels like a Reb Dolls material. So, you know, that's just my two cents on where I am in my Forever 21 hatred journey. I do like them also, just because I wrote like a really nasty review about them doesn't mean that I don't order from them constantly. You know, we do have limited options, so I still order from them. I just got really angry about like how the plus size section in the stores looked. Another thing that I got from the plus size section at Forever 21, and again, this material is like so nice. It's like a true knit. It's very stretchy. It's like thick and like sweater material. This is a great, great top. Um, I got this in a 3X as well. It's a little off the shoulder striped top. I'm obsessed with this. These colors are so dreamy and I kind of want to like do my own merchandise in some of these colors, like these two colors. I love the pink and orange. I think that this is beautiful. It just required a video wearing that top and it is like to die for comfortable. I also got this girly little crop 
tab. Uh, it's got a really pretty blue floral print pattern to it. I am very obviously gearing up for spring. I am like in crop top no clothes, no bra mode. That's like all I can think about. I don't want to wear underwear ever again. Winter has been incredibly oppressive and I just want my belly out and no fucking panties on. The last thing that I got from Forever 21 is just a little tank top. Again though, this fabric is not like former Forever 21 fabrics. I don't know what they're doing, you guys. It feels like they're making better clothes. I'm confused by it. We'll see where it goes. Some of my favorite color combinations are like an orangey red and light blue. I don't know why. I have always loved this color combination. Um, my parents' neighbor used to have a shed that was painted those colors, and I think it always makes me think of like dreamy backyard kiddo vibes or something. So JCPenney sent me a couple suits from their new Boutique Plus line. The first one is this really pretty embroidered black suit. It comes with um, a skirt and also the inside cup is like super padded, like very, very push up. So I'm not sure how this is going to fit me. It is a 3X. Their line goes up to a 3X. Um, the back of it is like a very long kind of, uh, what is this? It's not a hook and eye closure. I don't even know what this is called. I'm not sure I would be able to do this on my own without help. So I do think that it is a beautiful suit. Um, I don't know how practical it is for putting on without assistance. And I don't usually just like have assistants hanging out uh, with, with me while I'm like waiting to put on a swimsuit. Usually when I'm putting on a swimsuit, it's because someone called and was like, you wanna go swimming right this second? And I'm like, yes, gotta change, gotta go get to the beach. And that's usually how I put on a swimsuit. So I'm not sure that I'd be able to wear that like in a heartbeat, but I do think it's very beautiful. I like it a lot. It otherwise fits very, very well. That black suit that I tried on, also comes in this green color. I think that this green color is gorgeous. And there's one more suit in the collection. It's a one piece kind of cross neck. I'm not sure if this is gonna fit me. Usually one pieces are just too short on me, but I'll try this on for you guys anyway. Um, this is that really cool material where you can't see, like all you can see is skin in between. And that's pretty cute. That's what we got in the mail this week, you guys. Uh, pretty exciting. Nothing revolutionary, just kind of, you know, a week of clothes. For any of you who participated in my clothing sale, I do have a question. Would you like to see swimwear and or lingerie in future clothing sales? Um, how did you feel the prices were in the clothing sale? Also, how do you like this haul? How'd you like everything in this haul? I'm just generally looking for feedback. As I'm going into spring, I'm feeling like I just want to talk to you guys more and obviously I've had a lot of life stuff going on and I've felt a little bit disconnected from my YouTube family and my Fat Girl Flow family and I would just like to reconnect with you guys and see where you're at in your plus size journey or non plus size journey and what you guys are doing and thinking and you know what things you would like to talk about what you'd like to see on the channel so give me a little bit of feedback go follow me on Instagram because I'm always talking about crap over on Instagram and of course until next time I love you guys I'll see you then bye I can't get out of it! <laughs> We're not gonna fuck the clothes. We're talking about fucking clothes, not fucking clothes. Hubba hubba! <laughs> <laughs> really?